everyone, welcome to a new video on our superhero oh, yeah. versus superhero. This is a special episode where we will be doing supervillain versus supervillain. That's right, it's our first one on one battle and it's our first supervillain battle. Yes. Yes. The competitors today are the Joker, Batman's mortal enemy. And representing Marvel as always, I will take the Red Skull. Captain America. Because of Mortal Enemy. Mortal Enemy of Captain America. And we decided to do this matchup. Why, Mason? Because we did Batman versus Captain America in our very first episode. Exactly. Also because I was very bored. <laughs> That's right. So this is something to do on a rainy Saturday afternoon. Yeah. So, so let's start with Joker. Let's start off with the Joker. Okay, we always start with DC, so let's continue with that trend. DC, Joker. Joker, um, don't know his real name. <laughs> they, there is no canonical real name for the Joker. I think there were a few aliases that were attributed to him and a few fan theories, but I don't think technically anybody really knows what his real name is. So nobody knows his real name. Let's just go with Not Joker. Not definitively, yes. Let's just go Joker. Yep. Um, he is what you'd expect, the evil jester Joker thing. Yes. Um... He once faked his death in Batman the Brave and the Bold. Actually, he didn't do that. That was in a book that yes. Penny, why, I, Pennyworth was writing. I think he's faked his death numerous times, or has been assumed dead. Um, he kidnapped Robin times. once. Oh, yes. Um, him and Harley Quinn. Um, he is a normal human like Batman. Not as strong as Batman. No, that's true. Um, he... Can... I wouldn't say he's a he, skilled He has hand... laughing gas. He has laughing, he has laughing gas. gas. He has he gadgets. No, like he's that. not very good at hand-to-hand. -hand. No, I wouldn't say he's a skilled hand-to-hand -hand combatant, but he's also unpredictable and crazy, and that makes him difficult to fight against. Yeah. Yeah. So, Joker being unpredictable, he'll use a gun if he wants to. Yeah, um, absolutely. Um, we're going to, from now on, do the battles with a week of prep time since the last episode. Yes, that's absolutely fine. So, so they, they can study up yes, they can study for every weeks. battle. Yes. Um, so we assume, going forward, we're going to assume that the combatants know who they're fighting against before the fight. They do. So, yes. Because of so the week. They, yes. So, um, so the policy. Joker will have a lot of guns on hand, a lot of ammo and probably. Yes. He'll... Get his laughing gas ready. Laughing. Can I say what one of my favorite Joker weapons is? What? So a lot of times in the old TV show from the '60s, and in the comics, which sometimes, I've never seen. You never. You never. Oh, we'll have to watch those with Adam West and Burt Ward. It's, oh, we'll have to watch those. Never heard of that. You never heard of it? Okay, you're gonna love it. Um, but in that series and in some of the cartoons and Batman and the Brave, I think in Batman and the Brave of the Bull that appears, the Joker's kind of iconic weapon is a lapel flower yeah. that squirts acid. <laughs> yeah, yes. I remember that. Yeah, so that's kind of one of his... So he has acid so he can burn the Red Skull's head off. Yes, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Should we get to the Red Skull now, then? Yeah. Okay, so the Red Skull, his real name is Johann Schmidt. He is the leader of Hydra, who are... Um, I think they've been active since World War II, and they've been villains not only of Captain America... But pretty much, they're an, they're the most militaristic so organized like, crime. They're so, not even an organized crime. They're just like a militaristic army. So they're like to take over the world. so they're like the Injustice League because that's the Lex Luthor and all of their villains. Not quite because these are basically just soldiers. None of them really have superpowers unless they they will often work with. Um, oh, what are they called? The guy in the chair. And he's got like... AIM! AIM! The AIM group, A-I-M, they, they are the scientific um, criminals in Marvel. And they will sometimes create something like that. They'll create a super-powered being to go and fight against Marvel, that kind of thing. But Hydra, they're mostly just soldiers. They're not, so they're not like the Injustice League. Hmm. Where there's uh, like a collection of superpowered villains. No, this <laughs> like is just Lex like Lex Luthor and yeah. the Joker. And These are just like... henchmen being ruled by um, um, by the Red Skull and sometimes Baron Zemo. Uh, How is hard involved. is his Red Skull? I think it's normal skull-like density. 
So just acid redder. could burn it? Oh, acid could, yeah, yeah. Um, the Red Skull does not have, that's a good, we made that, that, that qualification about the Joker. The Red Skull also does not have any superpowers, no super strength, no healing factor, no super speed or anything like that. He's just that. at peak human condition. He is not even at peak human condition, that's a good point, Mason, but he has access to a Captain America clone, <laughs> so he can put his identity and mentality into a Captain America clone, which does have the peak superhuman strength and um, all basically a Captain America's physical conditioning. So basically, With, if he were, if the Joker was able to get rid of the Captain America clone, he yes. would win. Well, we don't know that. Let's discuss that now. Okay, so now let's go to the battle. So those um, are, now I've, we know who's fighting. Now do we, you have your so, votes? You know what? We're going to have to talk this through. I don't know if I have my vote. I have I, my vote. I, I, bet you, I bet your vote is always for DC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except in rare instances, if it's the Hulk or some... Well, maybe not even the Hulk. I don't think the Hulk had your vote. Um, Wolverine had my vote. Wolverine had your vote. Okay, so let's see. Um, with a week's worth of prep time, I think the Red Skull would definitely realize he's going to need to rely on the Captain his Captain America clone. clone. So I think he would have that prepared, and he would have already put his mentality, his identity into the... So let's assume he's Cap clone Red Skull that we're dealing with. Hmm. So physically, he's going to outmatch the Joker. We know that right off the yeah. bat. Just physically, he'll outmatch the Joker. But... but if, he's if, also a very skilled strategist, I forgot to mention, and... Uh, excellent hand-to-hand -hand combatant. But if the Joker got his guns ready and just went guns a blazing at Captain America clone. That's right. So this is what makes it difficult. Red Skull is a great... No, he's not maybe the best strategist. So he's not... Wouldn't be on par with somebody like Batman or Captain America's leadership abilities. Joker is a Richards. terrible strategist. A terrible strategist. But what he's got going for him is he's unpredictable and... He just makes his plans on the fly. Like you can't, you can't anticipate what he's gonna do. It's impossible. So that means Red Skull, as good a tactician as he is, won't be able to will do not anything. be able to anticipate what the Joker's gonna do. So the only advantage that I think Red Skull has is physically superior. But Joker has battled physically superior people all the time. Joker has battled Batman all the time. Yeah. So there we go. Okay. So I have my votes. You have your vote. Okay, so what, what 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 kind of what kind of tactics do you think the Joker would use? He wouldn't have any tactics. Well, His okay, tactic okay, but what is... would he? I don't mean strategy, long term strategy. I mean, I'll show what you, are some things? He I will show you to. what he would do. Okay. This is what he would resort to: All right. guns. Guns, yes, absolutely. Um, his flower thing on his chest. Yep, yep. Um, and his laughing gas. His laughing gas. Okay, I have my I have my vote. Yeah, I think that. All right, Red you ready? Skull. Wait, wait. You ready? Three, two, one, and we'll say our vote. Okay. Three, two, one. Cap. Joker. Yeah. Yeah? Joker. Okay. Yeah, we agree. <laughs> and here's what can I say why? Yeah. I think two reasons. Yeah? The Joker doesn't mind taking some hits, and just when you think he's down, you think you've overpowered the Joker, he's always got something up his sleeve, like the acid flower or he's got some kind of laughing gas, or he's got some kind of chemical weapon that's going to surprise you and anticipate you. He doesn't mind getting beat up. He will let himself get beat up. He'll get close to his opponent, and just when you think you've won the fight, he slips away. And the Red Skull has a history of being arrogant and overbearing and overconfident, and I think that's exactly what would happen. As soon as the Red Skull thinks, Red Skull thinks, Red Skull, Red Skull, like a red, red seagull, Gull, Red Seagull. That's less scary, isn't it? <laughs> I think as soon as the Red Skull thinks that he has defeated Joker, that's when the Joker would strike. That's my personal opinion, and yeah. Red Skull will be completely unprepared for it, even with a week's worth of planning, even being physically superior, even being better at the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Marvel hasn't and, had a single win. What, you mean overall? That's okay. because you have a huge DC bias. <laughs> no, it's because um, I know more about DC than you know about Marvel. What? Oh, okay. Well, we're going to have to discuss that in our next video. We'll have to discuss. Well, we we'll go down that rabbit hole and see if And I've decided one thing. 
I will be uploading a video that's just me comparing people from DC against DC. I'll be doing that on Wednesdays, and we will be doing Marvel vs. DC on Saturdays. Yes, so that's a new series. Look for that. Yep. DC vs. DC. You could do um, superhero vs. superhero, or superhero vs. villain, or villain vs. villain. All kinds of things. Yeah, so look for that on Wednesdays, and look for both of us on Saturdays. Yep. Yep. Thank you for watching this video, and we will see you in the next one with not a single in for Marvel yet. Marvel rules. The comics are still better than DC Comics. Bye! Bye!